Welcome back to question two of this series where we use the combined gas law to help us solve problems. The question reads, a weather balloon is filled with 15.0 liters of helium at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 685 millimeters of mercury. What is the pressure in milliliters of mercury of the helium in the balloon in the upper atmosphere when the temperature is negative 35 degrees Celsius and the final volume becomes 34.0 liters if the amount of helium does not change. Let's start off by writing out everything we know. We've been told the volume initially, that's 15.0 liters. The pressure, unlike in question number one, is given in mmHg. So I'll write down 685 mmHg. And the temperature given in Celsius is 25, 25 degrees Celsius. It's important to note that with these types of calculations, this number needs to be converted into Kelvin. So we'll do that conversion in a moment. But the final data is that the volume is 34.0 liters. The pressure is what we're looking for. And the temperature is negative 35 degrees Celsius. Let's go ahead now and convert these two numbers into Kelvin. 25 degrees Celsius in Kelvin, you add 273.15. That leads us to 298.15. But because this number doesn't have any decimals, we'll just drop this 0.15. Similarly, we'll add 273.15 to this number, and you should end up with 238.15. You again drop the decimal 15 for the same reason. Now we use the relationship PV over T is equal to PV over T where this is the original values and these are the final values. Let's substitute everything we know. 685 times the volume, that initial volume was 15.0, over the temperature 298, and that is equal to, similarly, P2 times the volume of 34.0 over 238. To find out this unknown, we cross multiply. So I'll multiply this denominator with these values and 298 with these values. Using our calculator, 238 times 685 times 15.0 gives us that value. 298 times 34.0. 298 times 34.0 and we end up with 10,132. We still need to isolate for P sub two. So we divide both sides now by that amount, this one right here, that cancels out. So two, four, four, five, four, five, zero divided by 10, one, three, two gives us 241.45. Now in terms of significant figures, since we're multiplying and dividing here, the lowest number of significant figures throughout this equation was three, so we should limit ours to three as well. The answer is 241 mmHg.